Corsica, French, Corse Cays, Corsican, Corsia, Italian, Corsica is an island in the Mediterranean Sea and one of the 18 regions of France. It is located southeast of the French mainland and west of the Italian peninsula, with the nearest landmass being the Italian island of Sardinia to the immediate south. A single chain of mountains makes up two thirds of the island. While being part of metropolitan France, Corsica is also designated as a territorial collectivity by law. As a territorial collectivity, Corsica enjoys a greater degree of autonomy than other French regions, for example, the Corsican Assembly is able to exercise limited executive powers. The island formed a single department until it was split in 1975 into two historical departments, Haute Corse Upper Corsica and Corse du Sud Southern Corsica, with its regional capital in Ajaccio, the prefecture city of Corse du Sud. Bastia, the prefecture city of Haute Corse, is the second largest settlement in Corsica. The two departments, and the region of Corsica, merged again into a single territorial collectivity in 2018. After being ruled by the Republic of Genoa since 1284, Corsica had been briefly an Italian-speaking republic from 1755, until it was officially ceded by the Republic of Genoa to Louis XV as part of a pledge for debts and conquered in 1769. Napoleon Bonaparte was born the same year in Ajaccio, and his ancestral home Maison Bonaparte is today a significant visitor attraction and museum. Due to Corsica's historical ties with the Italian peninsula, the island retains many Italian cultural elements to this day. Corsican is recognized as a regional language by the French government. Topic: History. Topic: Prehistory and Antiquity. The origin of the name Corsica is subject to much debate and remains a mystery. To the ancient Greeks it was known as Calist, Corsis, Cernos, Cernialis, or Cernay. Of these Cernos, Cernialis, or Cernay derive from the most ancient Greek name of the island, Cyrenusai, Cyrenusai, meaning of the sirens, the very same sirens mentioned in Homer's Odyssey. Corsica has been occupied continuously since the Mesolithic era. It acquired an indigenous population that was influential in the Mediterranean during its long prehistory. After a brief occupation by the Carthaginians, colonization by the ancient Greeks, and an only slightly longer occupation by the Etruscans, it was incorporated by the Roman Republic at the end of the First Punic War and, with Sardinia, in 238 BC became a province of the Roman Republic. The Romans, who built a colony in Alaria, considered Corsica as one of the most backward regions of the Roman world. The island produced sheep, honey, resin and wax, and exported many slaves, not well considered because of their fierce and rebellious character. Moreover, it was known for its cheap wines, exported to Rome, and was used as a place of relegation, one of the most famous exiles being the Roman philosopher Seneca. Administratively, the island was divided in Pagi, which in the Middle Ages became the Pievi, the basic administrative units of the island until 1768. During the diffusion of Christianity, which arrived quite early from Rome and the Tuscan harbours, Corsica was home to many martyrs and saints, among them, the most important are Saint Devota and Saint Julia, both patrons of the island. Corsica was integrated into Roman Italy by Emperor Diocletian R. 284 to 305. Topic: <inaudible> Middle Ages and Early Modern Era. In the 5th century, the western half of the Roman Empire collapsed and the island was invaded by the Vandals and the Ostrogoths. Briefly recovered by the Byzantines, it soon became part of the Kingdom of the Lombards. This made it a dependency of the March of Tuscany, which used it as an outpost against the Saracens. Pepin the Short, king of the Franks and Charlemagne's father, expelled the Lombards and nominally granted Corsica to Pope Stephen II. In the first quarter of the 11th century, Pisa and Genoa together freed the island from the threat of Arab invasion. 
After that, the island came under the influence of the Republic of Pisa. To this period belong the many polychrome churches which adorn the island, and Corsica also experienced a massive immigration from Tuscany, which gave to the island its present toponymy and rendered the language spoken in the northern two-thirds of the island very close to the Tuscan dialect. Due to that, then began also the traditional division of Corsica in two parts, along the main chain of mountains roughly going from Calvi to Porto Vecchio, the eastern Banda di Dentro, or Sismonte, more populated, evolved and open to the commerce with Italy, and the western Banda di Fiori, or Pomonte, almost deserted, wild and remote. The crushing defeat experienced by Pisa in 1284 in the Battle of Meloria against Genoa had among its consequences the end of the Pisan rule and the beginning of the Genoese influence in Corsica. This was contested initially by the King of Aragon, who in 1296 had received from the Pope the investiture over Sardinia and Corsica. A popular revolution against this and the feudal lords, led by Sambacuccio de Londo, got the aid of Genoa. After that, the Sismonte was ruled as a league of communi and churches, after the Italian experience. The following 150 years were a period of conflict, when the Genoese rule was contested by Aragon, the local lords, the communi and the pope. Finally, in 1450 Genoa ceded the administration of the island to its main bank, the Bank of St. George, which brought peace. In the 16th century, the island entered into the fight between Spain and France for the supremacy in Italy. In 1553, a Franco-Ottoman fleet occupied Corsica, but the reaction of Spain and Genoa, led by Andrea Doria, re-established the Genoese supremacy on the island, confirmed by the Peace of Cateau Cambrasis. The unlucky protagonist of this episode was Sampiero di Bastilica, who would later come to be considered a hero of the island. Their power reinstated, the Genoese did not allow the Corsican nobility to share in the government of the island, and oppressed the inhabitants with a heavy tax burden. On the other hand, they introduced the chestnut tree on a large scale, improving the diet of the population, and built a chain of towers along the coast to defend Corsica from the attacks of the Barbary pirates from North Africa. The period of peace lasted until 1729, when the refusal to pay taxes by a peasant sparked the general insurrection of the island against Genoa. <inaudible> Rise and annexation of the Corsican Republic In 1729 the Corsican Revolution for Independence from Genoa began, first led by Luigi Giafferi and Giacinto Paoli, and later by Paoli's son, Pasquale Paoli. After 26 years of struggle against the Republic of Genoa plus an ephemeral attempt to proclaim in 1736 an independent kingdom of Corsica under the German adventurer Theodor von Neuhoff, the independent Corsican Republic was proclaimed in 1755 under the leadership of Pasquale Paoli and remained sovereign until 1769, when the island was conquered by France. The first Corsican constitution was written in Italian the language of culture in Corsica until the middle of the 19th century by Paoli. The Corsican Republic was unable to eject the Genoese from the major coastal fortresses Calvi and Bonifacio. After the Corsican conquest of Capraia, a small island of the Tuscan archipelago, in 1767, the Republic of Genoa, exhausted by forty years of fighting, decided to sell the island to France which, after its defeat in the Seven Years' War, was trying to reinforce its position in the Mediterranean. In 1768, with the Treaty of Versailles, the Genoese Republic ceded all its rights on the island. After an initial successful resistance culminating with the victory at Borgo, the Corsican Republic was crushed by a large French army led by the Count of Vaux at the Battle of Ponte Novu. This marked the end of Corsican sovereignty. Despite triggering the Corsican crisis in Britain, whose government gave secret aid, no foreign military support came for the Corsicans. However, nationalist feelings still ran high. Despite the conquest, Corsica was not incorporated into the French state until 1789. Following the outbreak of the French Revolution in 1789, Pasquale Paoli was able to return to Corsica from exile in Britain. 
In 1794, he invited British forces under Lord Hood to intervene to free Corsica from French rule. Anglo-Corsican forces drove the French from the island and established an Anglo-Corsican kingdom. Following Spain's entry into the war, the British decided to withdraw from Corsica in 1796. Corsica returned to French rule. Topic. 19th century Despite being the birthplace of the emperor, who had supported Pauli in his youth, the island was neglected by Napoleon's government. In 1814, near the end of the Napoleonic Wars, Corsica was briefly occupied again by British troops. The Treaty of Bastia gave the British crown sovereignty over the island, but it was later repudiated by Lord Castlereagh who insisted that the island should be returned to a restored French monarchy. After the restoration, the island was further neglected by the French state. Despite the presence of a middle class in Bastia and Ajaxio, Corsica remained an otherwise primitive place, whose economy consisted mainly of a subsistence agriculture, and whose population constituted a pastoral society, dominated by clans and the rules of vendetta. The Code of Vendetta required Corsicans to seek deadly revenge for offences against their family's honour. Between 1821 and 1852, no fewer than 4,300 murders were perpetrated in Corsica. In this period a myth proved of interest as an historical fact by virtue of its being introduced by Herodotus and furthered by writers like Merimi and Gregorovius, of Corsica as having been populated by Arcadians, Enotrians and citizens of Phocaea, fierce and loyal people. During the first half of the century, the people of Corsica belonged still to the Italian cultural world. The bourgeoisie sent children to Pisa to study, official acts were enacted in Italian, and most books were printed in Italian. Moreover, many islanders sympathized with the national struggle which was taking place in nearby Italy in those years. Several political refugees from the peninsula, like Niccolo Tomaseo, spent years in the island, while some Corsicans, like Count Leonetto Cipriani, took active part in the fights for Italian independence. Despite all that, during those years the Corsicans began to feel a stronger and stronger attraction to France. The reasons for that are manifold, the knowledge of the French language, which thanks to the mandatory primary school started to penetrate among the local youth, the high prestige of French culture, the awareness of being part of a big, powerful state, the possibility of well-paid jobs as civil servants, both in the island, in the mainland and in the colonies, the prospect of serving the French army during the wars for the conquest of the colonial empire, the introduction of steamboats, which reduced the travel time between mainland France France from the island drastically, and, last but not least, Napoleon himself, whose existence alone constituted an indissoluble link between France and Corsica. Thanks to all these factors by around 1870 Corsica had landed in the French cultural world. From the 19th century into the mid-20th century, Corsicans also grew closer to the French nation through participation in the French Empire. Compared to much of metropolitan France, Corsica was poor and many Corsicans emigrated. While Corsicans emigrated globally, especially to many South American countries, many chose to move within the French Empire which acted as a conduit for emigration and eventual return, as many young Corsican men could find better job opportunities in the far corners of the empire where many other French hesitated to go. In many parts of the empire, Corsicans were strongly represented, such as in Saigon where in 1926 12% of European were from Corsica. Across the French Empire, many Corsicans retained a sense of community by establishing organizations where they would meet regularly, keep one another informed of developments in Corsica, and come to one another's aid in times of need. Modern Corsica Corsica paid a high price for the French victory in the First World War. Agriculture was disrupted by the years long absence of almost all of the young workers, and the percentage of dead or wounded Corsicans in the conflict was double that of those from continental France. 
Moreover, the protectionist policies of the French government, started in the 1880s, had caused a significant strain on the Corsican export of wine and olive oil, and forced many young locals to emigrate both to mainland France and the Americas. As a reaction to these conditions, a nationalist movement was born in the 1920s around the newspaper A Mouvre, proposing the island's autonomy. In the 1930s, however, the nationalist movement's key figures turned to Italian irredentism, seeing the annexation of the island to fascist Italy as the most desirable course of action. Under Benito Mussolini, the annexation of Corsica had become one of the main goals of Italy's domestic policy of expansion. After the collapse of France to the German Wehrmacht in 1940, Corsica came under the rule of the Vichy French regime, which was collaborating with Nazi Germany. In November 1942 the island, following the Anglo-American landings in North Africa was occupied by Italian and German forces. After the Italian armistice in September 1943, Italian and Free French forces pushed the Germans out of the island, making Corsica the first French department to be freed. Subsequently, the U.S. military established 17 airfields, nicknamed USS Corsica, which served as bases for attacks on targets in German-occupied Italy. During the May 1958 crisis, French paratroopers landed on Corsica on 24 May, garrisoning the island in a bloodless action called Operation Corse. Between the late 50s and the 70s, the project of building a nuclear polygon in the mines of Argentella, the immigration of 18,000 former settlers of the newly independent Algeria, Pieds Noirs in the eastern plains, and continuing chemical pollution Rossi from mainland Italy increased tensions between the local inhabitants and the French government. Tensions escalated until they eventually erupted in the occasion of an armed police assault on a Pied Noir's own wine cellar in Illyria, occupied by Corsican nationalists on 23 August 1975. Corsican nationalism has been a feature of the island's politics ever since, with several groups and nationalist parties active calling for the protection of the Corsican cultural heritage and greater autonomy, or even the restoration of the island's full independence. Some radical nationalists, organizing themselves in a group known as FLNC, carried out a violent conflict, which included a number of bombings and assassinations targeting buildings and officials of the French government, both from the mainland and Corsica itself. Periodic flare-ups of raids and killings culminated in the assassination of the prefect Claude Arignac in 1998. In 2013, Corsica hosted the first three stages of the 100th Tour de France, which passed through the island for the first time in the event's 110-year history. Geography Corsica was formed about 250 million years ago with the uplift of a granite backbone on the western side. About 50 million years ago sedimentary rock was pressed against this granite, forming the schists of the eastern side. It is the most mountainous island in the Mediterranean, a mountain in the sea. It is also the fourth largest island in the Mediterranean, after Sicily, Sardinia and Cyprus. It is 183 kilometers 114 miles long at longest, 83 kilometers 52 miles wide at widest, has 1,000 kilometers 620 miles of coastline, more than 200 beaches, and is very mountainous, with Monte Sinto as the highest peak at 2,706 meters 8,878 feet and around 120 other summits of more than 2,000 meters 6,600 feet. Mountains comprise two-thirds of the island, forming a single chain. Forests make up 20% of the island. About 3,500 square kilometers 1,400 square miles of the total surface area of 8,680 square kilometers 3,350 square miles is dedicated to nature reserves Parc Naturel Régional de Corse, mainly in the interior. Corsica contains the GR20, one of Europe's most notable hiking trails. The island is 90 kilometers 56 miles from Tuscany in Italy and 170 kilometers 110 miles from the Côte d'Azur in France. 
It is separated from Sardinia to the south by the Strait of Bonifacio, which is a minimum of 11 kilometers (6.8 miles) wide. Topic: <laughs> Major communities. In 2005, the population of Corsica was settled in approximately 360 communities. Topic. Climate Under the Köppen climate classification scheme, coastal regions are characterized by a hot summer Mediterranean climate CSA. Further inland, a warm summer Mediterranean climate CSB is more common. At the highest elevation locations, small areas with a subarctic climate DSC, DFC, and the rare cold summer Mediterranean climate CSC can be found. The station of Sari Solanzara records the highest year-round temperatures of metropolitan France with an annual average of 16.41 degrees Celsius over the 1981-2010 period. Sunshine hours are not available over this period but as 2715 h over 2008 to 2016. Topic: Ecology. Topic: Zones by altitude. The island is divided into three major ecological zones by altitude. Below 600 meters feet is the coastal zone, which features a Mediterranean climate, with hot, dry summers and mild, rainy winters. The natural vegetation is Mediterranean forests, woodlands, and shrubs. The coastal lowlands are part of the Tyrrhenian Adriatic sclerophyllous and mixed forests ecoregion, in which forests and woodlands of evergreen sclerophyll oaks predominate, chiefly home oak Quercus ilex and cork oak Quercus suber. Much of the coastal lowlands have been cleared for agriculture, grazing and logging, which have reduced the forests considerably. There is considerable birdlife in Corsica. One famous example is the bearded vulture. In some cases Corsica is a delimited part of the species range. For example, the subspecies of hooded crow, Corvus cornix ssp cornix occurs in Corsica, but no further south, from 600 to 1,800 meters 2,000 to 5,900 feet is a temperate montane zone. The mountains are cooler and wetter, and home to the Corsican montane broadleaf and mixed forests ecoregion, which supports diverse forests of oak, pine, and broadleaf deciduous trees, with vegetation more typical of northern Europe. The population lives predominantly below 900 meters 3,000 feet, with only shepherds and hikers at 600 to 900 meters 2,000 to 3,000 feet. From 1,800 to 2,700 meters (5,900 to 8,900 feet) is a high alpine zone. Vegetation is sparse. This zone is uninhabited. Topic: <laughs> Zones by region. Topic. <laughs> Parc naturel régional de Corse The island has a natural park Parc naturel régional de Corse, Parsu di Corsica, which protects rare animal and plant species. The park was created in 1972 and includes the Golf de Porto, the Scandala Nature Reserve a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and some of the highest mountains on the island. Scandala cannot be reached on foot, but people can gain access by boat from the village of Galleria and Porto, Oda. Two endangered subspecies of hoofed mammals, the European mouflon Ovis orientalis musiman and Corsican red deer Cervus alophis corsicanus inhabit the park. The Corsican red deer was reintroduced after it was extinct due to overhunting. This Corsican subspecies was the same that survived on Sardinia, so it's endemic. There are other species endemic to Corsica especially in the upper mountain ranges, i.e. Corsican nuthatch, Corsican fire salamander and Corsican brook salamander and many plant subspecies.
Topic: <inaudible> Extinct animals. Corsica, like all the other Mediterranean islands, was home to indigenous animals of the Pleistocene, some endemic to it and some coming to it in Sardinia, as Sardinia was joined to Corsica for much of the Pleistocene. After the proliferation of humans in the Mesolithic, these began to disappear, partly from extinction of the species, and partly from eradication only in Corsica. However, it is now known that many species managed to survive the Mesolithic, and many were still present well into recorded history. The globally extinct species are the Sardinian dole, Megaloceros casioti, Corsican giant shrew, Tyrrhenian mole, Sardinian pica, Corsican Sardinian vole, Corsican Sardinian wood mouse, Bubo insularis, and Athene angelus. Birds were especially hard hit. Some that were eradicated from the vicinity are Haliaetus albacilla and Aquila heliaca. Topic: <laughs> Demographics. Corsica has a population of 322,120 inhabitants January 2013 estimate, at the 2011 census, 56.3% of the inhabitants of Corsica had been born in Corsica, 28.6% were born in continental France, 0.3% were from overseas France, and 14.8% were natives of foreign countries. The majority of the foreign immigrants in Corsica come from the Maghreb, particularly particularly Moroccans, who made up 33.5% of all immigrants in Corsica at the 2011 census, and from Southern Europe particularly Portuguese, 22.7% of immigrants on the island, and Italians 13.7%. Immigration <inaudible> 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 Topic Culture Topic Languages As in the rest of France, French is Corsica's official language and is now spoken throughout the island. Italian was the official language of Corsica under the plurisecular Pisan and Genoese rule, and was retained as the island's administrative language until 1859. Corsican Corsa, an Italo-Dalmatian minority language that is closely related to Tuscan Toscano, has a better prospect of survival than most other French regional languages. Corsican is in fact, after French, the most widely spoken language on the island. However, Corsican lacks official status, and today it is estimated that only 10% of Corsica's population speak the language natively, with 50% having some sort of proficiency in it. The language is divided into the two main varieties of Corsa Supranachu, Northern Corsican, and Corsa Sutanachu, Southern Corsican, spoken respectively northeast and southwest of the Girolata, Porto Vecchio line. This division was primarily due to the massive immigration from Tuscany which took place in Corsica during the Lower Middle Ages. As a result, the Supranachu or Sismontano became very similar to the Western Tuscan dialects, while the Sutanachu or Ultramontano could keep more original characteristics which make this group of dialects relatively similar to a Southern Romance language like Sardinian Sardu. Therefore, due to the differences between the main dialectal varieties, most linguists classify Corsican as an Italo-Dalmatian language, while some others place it in the Southern Romance family. Together with Sardinian, it should also be noted that fewer and fewer people speak a dialect of Ligurian, known as Bonifazinu, in what has long been a language island, Bonifacio, and in Ajaxio, the Ajacinu dialect. In Kargis, a village established by Greek immigrants in the 17th century, Greek Ellenica was the traditional language, whereas it has long disappeared from spoken conversation, ancient Greek is still the liturgical language and the village has many Greek Orthodox parishes. Cuisine <coughs> 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 From the mountains to the plains and sea, many ingredients play a role. Game such as wild boar singale, sinjari, is popular. There also is seafood and river fish such as trout. 
Delicacies such as figatelu, also named as ficatedu, made with liver, kappa, ham, prizutu, lanzu are made from Corsican pork, porsu nustrail. Characteristic among the cheeses is brachu, similar to ricotta, which is used as a fresh ingredient in many dishes, from first courses to cakes. Other cheeses, like castu merzu, rotten cheese. The Corsican counterpart of the Sardinian kazumartsu, kastju vegju are made from goat or sheep milk. Chestnuts are the main ingredient in the making of polenta castanina and cakes falcolel. A variety of alcohol also exists ranging from aquavita brandy, red and white Corsican wines vinu corsa, muscat wine plain or sparkling, and the famous cap course aperitif produced by mate. The herbs which are part of maki Corsican, makja, and the chestnuts and oak nuts of the Corsican forests are eaten by local animals, resulting in the noticeable taste in the food there. <laughs> Art Corsica has produced a number of known artists. <laughs> Sport. AC Ajaxio and SC Bastia are the two main football teams, which have played the League One frequently since the 1960s and contest the Corsica Derby. Since 2015, Gazelic Ajaxio, the city's second team, has begun playing in the League One. The Tour de Course is a rally held since 1956, which was a round of the World Rally Championship from 1973 to 2008 and later the Intercontinental Rally Challenge and European Rally Championship. The Tour de Course returned as a World Rally Championship round in 2015. Topic: <laughs> Administration Before 1975, Corsica was a department of the French region of Provence-Alpes-Côte d'Azur. In 1975 two new départements, Haute-Corse and Corse du Sud, were created by splitting the hitherto united département of Corsica. On 2 March 1982, a law was passed that gave Corsica the status of territorial collectivity collectivité territoriale, abolishing the Corsican Regional Council. Unlike the regional councils, the Corsican Assembly has executive powers over the island. In 1992, three institutions were formed in the territorial collectivity of Corsica. The Executive Council of Corsica, which exercises the type of executive functions held in other French regions by the presidents of the regional councils. It ensures the stability and consistency needed to manage the affairs of the territory. The Corsican Assembly, a deliberative, unicameral legislative body with greater powers than the regional councils on the mainland. The Economic, Social and Cultural Council of Corsica, an advisory body a local referendum held in 2003, aimed at abolishing the two départements to leave a territorial collectivity with extended powers, was voted down by a narrow margin. However, the issue of Corsican autonomy and greater powers for the Corsican Assembly continues to hold sway over Corsican politics. Economy Tourism plays a big part in the Corsican economy. The island's climate, mountains, and coastlines make it popular among tourists. The island has not had the same level of intensive development as other parts of the Mediterranean and is thus mainly unspoiled. Tourism is particularly concentrated in the area around Porto Vecchio and Bonifacio in the south of the island and Calvi in the northwest. In 1584 the Genoese governor ordered all farmers and landowners to plant four trees yearly, a chestnut, olive, fig, and mulberry tree. Many communities owe their origin and former richness to the ensuing chestnut woods. Chestnut bread keeps fresh for as long as two weeks. Corsica produces gourmet cheese, wine, sausages, and honey for sale in mainland France and for export. 
Corsican honey, of which there are six official varieties, is certified as to its origin Appellation d'origine by the French National Institute of Origin and Quality Institut National des Appellations d'origine, INAO. Corsica's main exports are granite and marble, tannic acid, cork, cheese, wine, citrus fruit, olive oil and cigarettes. Topic: Transport. Topic: Airports. Corsica has four international airports: Ajaccio Napoleon Bonaparte Airport, Bastia Peretta Airport, Calvi Saint Catherine Airport. Figari Sud Course Airport near Bonifacio and Porto Vecchio in the south all airports are served by regional French airline Air Corsica, as well as Air France which mainly offers connections to Paris Orly. Budget carriers such as EasyJet and Ryanair offer seasonal connections to different cities in Europe. Railway <inaudible> 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 The island has 232 kilometers 144 miles of meter gauge railway. The main line runs between Bastia and Ajaccio and there is a branch line from Ponte Lucia to Calvi. Chemins de Fer de la Corse CFC is the name of the regional rail network serving the French island of Corsica. For a list of stations, see railway stations in Corsica. The railroad retains the air of a friendly local railroad and is an excellent way to get around the island. For both the inhabitants and tourists, there is a third line along the east coast that is not in use due to heavy damage during World War II. John Smith and his consortium announced their intention to invest and redevelop in 2018. There has been talk of restoration, but no progress has occurred. Topic. Seaports Corsica is well connected to the European mainland Italy and France by various car ferry lines. The island's busiest seaport is Bastia, which saw more than 2.5 million passengers in 2012. The second busiest seaport is Ajaccio, followed by Lille Rouse and Calvi. Propriano and Porto Vecchio in the south also have smaller ferry docks and are seasonally served from France Marseille, while Bonifacio's harbour is only frequented by smaller car ferries from the neighbouring island of Sardinia. The ferry companies serving Corsica are Corsica Ferries, Sardinia Ferries from Savona, Livorno and Piombino in Italy, Toulon and Nice in France, SNCM from Marseille, Toulon and Nice in France, CMN, La Meridionale from Marseille in France and Moby Lines from Livorno and Genoa in Italy. Topic: Politics. There are several groups and two nationalist parties the Autonomist Femua Corsica and the Separatist Corsica Libera active on the island calling for some degree of Corsican autonomy from France or even full independence. Generally speaking, regionalist proposals focus on the promotion of the Corsican language, more power for local governments, and some exemptions from national taxes in addition to those already applying to Corsica. The French government is opposed to full independence but has at times shown support for some level of autonomy. There is support on the island for proposals for greater autonomy, but polls show that a large majority of Corsicans are opposed to full independence. In 1972, the Italian company Montedison dumped toxic waste, which appeared to be red mud, off the Corsican coast, the most visible effects being cetaceans found dead on the shores. At that time the Corsican people felt that the French government did not support them. To stop the poisoning, one ship carrying toxic waste from Italy was bombed. Nationalist organizations started to seek money, using tactics similar to those of the Mafia, to fund violence. 
Some groups that claim to support Corsican independence, such as the National Liberation Front of Corsica, have carried out a violent campaign since the 1970s that includes bombings and assassinations, usually targeting buildings and officials representing the French government or Corsicans themselves for political reasons. A war between two rival independence groups led to several deaths in the 1990s. The peaceful occupation of a Pied Noir vineyard in Alleria in 1975 marked a turning point when the French government responded with overwhelming force, generating sympathy for the independence groups among the Corsican population. In 2000, Prime Minister Lionel Jospin agreed to grant increased autonomy to Corsica. The proposed autonomy for Corsica would have included greater protection for the Corsican language Corsa, the island's traditional language, whose practice and teaching, like other regional or minority languages in France, had been discouraged in the past. According to the UNESCO classification, the Corsican language is currently in danger of becoming extinct. However, plans for increased autonomy were opposed by the Gaullist opposition in the French National Assembly, who feared that they would lead to calls for autonomy from other regions such as Brittany, Alsace, or Provence, eventually threatening France's unity as a country. In a referendum on the 6th of July 2003, a narrow majority of Corsican voters opposed a proposal by the government of Jean-Pierre Referrin and then Interior Minister Nicolas Sarkozy that would have suppressed the two-day part of the island and granted greater autonomy to the territorial collectivity of Corsica. On 13 December 2015, the regionalist coalition Paya Corsica, English, for Corsica, supported by both Femu a Corsica and Corsica Libera and led by Giles Simeone, won the territorial elections with a percentage of 36.9%. On 17 December 2015, Jean Guy Talimoni was elected president of the Assembly of Corsica and Giles Simeone. Simeone was elected executive president of the Council of the Region. In addition, legislation granting Corsica a greater degree of autonomy was passed. See also Notes Topic. Bibliography Bertarelli, Luigi Vittorio Corsica. Gita d'Italia in Italian. Rome, Cti. Laughlin, John. 1989. Regionalism and Ethnic Nationalism in France, a Case Study of Corsica. Thesis. San Domenico, Italy, European University Institute. Laughlin, John, and Claude Olivesi, eds. 1999. Autonomies insulaires, vers une politique de différence pour la Corse. Ajaxio, Editions Albiana. ISBN 2 905124 47 4. Ravis Giordani, Georges. 1991. Le Guide de la Corse. Besançon, La Manufacture. ISBN 2-7377-0262-3. Saul, John Ralston. 1992. Voltaire's Bastards, The Dictatorship of Reason in the West. New York, Free Press, Maxwell Macmillan International. ISBN 0-02-927725-6. External links. Official website Corsica, a mountain in the sea, official French website in English. Corsica. Encyclopædia Britannica, 7, 11th ed. 1911. pp. 199-204. Costa, L.J., Cécile Costa, 2005. Préhistoire de la Corse. In French. Kirnos Publications pour l'archéologie. Retrieved 26 April 2008. Terra Corsa, I Mouvrini and much more Corsican music. Terra Corsa. Retrieved 22 August 2011.
Dumas, Alexander 2003, 1845. The Corsican Brothers. Arthur's Classical Novels. Archived from the original on 19 April 2008. Retrieved 27 April 2008. Corsica at Curlie. National Geographic Magazine, Corsica Map. National Geographic Society. 2003. Archived from the original on 10 December 2012. Retrieved 5 May 2008. Corsica rejects autonomy offer by Paris. CNN. 6 July 2003. Archived from the original on 8 April 2008. Retrieved 26 April 2008. Kaiser, Will. Corsica from the inside. Corsica Asula. Retrieved 26 April 2008. Habro. Getting around in Corsica by bicycle. Habro.net. Retrieved 28 August 2009. Guiderdoni, J.F. A different visit of Corsica. Corsica underscore experience. Retrieved 5 June 2011. Ferries to Corsica detailed technical specifications of the various ferry vessels, history, deck plans. CTFD in Italian. Audio recording of the traditional Corsican folktale Golden Hair in English. Three-minute video. The workout the world forgot. Filmed in Corsica, 2008.